For more than 160 years, the Rupert name has stood for entrepreneurial talent in Washington, D.C. Five generations of Ruperts have built businesses dealing in provisions, hardware, animal feed, restaurants, books, and real estate, while creating homes for the arts for all Washingtonians. The patriarch, German immigrant Henry Rupert, arrived in Washington in 1856. Actually came and wanted to go to the state of Washington to raise apples, and he wound up in Washington, D.C. instead. <laughs> he worked as a butcher, married Gertrude Clay, and raised seven children at their Sherman Avenue home in the neighborhood then known as Cowtown. At the age of 20, Henry and Gertrude's son, M. Frank, opened a hardware store in a rented building on 7th Street Northwest, just north of Mount Vernon Square. In 1898, after four good years, he built his own combination store and home on the same block. He married Rose Berberick, whose family owned a thriving shoe business on 7th Street. Frank and Rose lived in the two stories above the hardware store, where seven of their eight children were born. The hardware store was the family anchor until it closed in 1986. I think that the Rupert family epitomizes the way uh, immigrants moved forward and moved up as they became more successful in Washington. In 1905, Frank expanded into real estate with his brother John. Frank, who had always invested spare cash in real estate, consolidated his holdings a few years later, transferring shares of the company to his eight children and continuing to invest. After Frank's death in 1951, the eight children ran the M. Frank Rupert Management Company. Frank's son, Raymond, ran the real estate business, while his brother, James, ran the hardware and feed store. In true family tradition, Raymond's sons, Ray Jr. and William, grew up working in the businesses, and William ran the hardware store, while Ray Jr. gravitated to the real estate side. Over the next several decades, Ray Sr. and his son managed properties owned by family members and eventually outsiders too. Their typically small-scale apartment and commercial buildings were found in all four quadrants of the city. In 1959, Ray Jr. married Molly Murray, a sixth-generation Washingtonian. The couple produced six children and now have 18 grandchildren. Their six children also grew up working in the office. In the early 1990s, son Paul persuaded his parents to move the office upstairs and open a restaurant on the 7th Street ground floor named, appropriately, Rupert's Real Restaurant. And we decided on a restaurant because we could see a change happening in cities. Just this incipient start to move back to the city where people who were interested in, in what was going on in cities and the dynamism and the change and the excitement. And so at the forefront of that were artists, but also restaurants. In 2001, they opened the Warehouse Theater and Gallery next door. The avant-garde venue presented theater, music, and art exhibits. In the year 2000, when we lost our lease at the Sacred Heart, we moved into the warehouse. An extraordinary family, really, both Molly and Cappy Paul, the whole family, has just contributed so much to, to the art scene and to, to the richness and the cultural sensitivity to people's differentness, but not making anybody feel different. We're all in this together. There they branched into community organizing, and political issues. We did theater, we did film, we did bands, and at the time, my brother Mark happened to read a story in the New York Times about a 24-hour play. And Mark, who did uh, film, he said, we can do that with film. Brother Mark created, with his sister Christina, the 48-hour film project. This international filmmaking competition takes place in 130 cities. Later, Paul opened the award-winning Passenger and Columbia Room Cocktail Bar with Derek and Tom Brown. Sister Nora, an engineer, is an environmental sustainability expert. 
Elizabeth is now an economist with the World Bank, and Tom is a technology lawyer. In 2013, because of rising property taxes, the Ruperts decided to sell their signature 7th Street properties to Douglas Development, but they remain in business with dozens of properties to manage, and Room 11, Petworth Citizen, Slim's Diner, and Upshur Street Books to operate. The Rupert Real Estate Office is neatly housed above Slim's Diner in Petworth. Mm-hmm.